Hey, what's up everybody? It's Robert Anthony and I'm going to provide you with my uh, review of Apgar Campground in Glacier National Park, which is where I've stayed for the last five days, getting ready to call it a day tomorrow. So I thought I'd like to, like I've been doing, do a quick review of this particular campground. This is a uh, self-serve pay campground. It's 20 bucks a night. Uh, this particular campground has running water. Um, you have a bathroom uh, back behind us, and I will show that to you right now. So they have uh, a number of different bathrooms, uh, as you see back over here. Um, ours has a couple of sinks and a couple of toilet stalls. They're uh, quite clean. They're a little old, but they are quite clean. Um, this particular campground has 170 or so sites. They fill up every night, from what I understand, um, from the park ranger during the summertime. Now, I'm here right now. It's October 3rd. Tomorrow is October 4th, and that marks the last day that they will be open. And what they then do is they shut down this A-loop. The A-loop is where the fresh and running water is. And they open up the primitive loops, B, C, and D. Um, those are primitive loops. They are open all year long. They do not have running water or flush toilets. I can't be for sure if they, uh, if they offer vault toilets. I imagine that they do. Um, we have a nice uh, dumpster near our site. These are all bear-proof canisters, bear-proof dumpsters. Um, it's really great. Now, ours is a circle, half-circle drive much the same as Theodore Roosevelt. It is huge. Almost every single one of the sites here is level. They are made of gravel, as you can see here. You can see the gravel. Those are outstanding. And then um, all of the sites also have, well, not all of the sites, but dispersed through the campground, you have freshwater spigots right here. You can see and you're able to get fresh mountain well water our site has a picnic table plenty of shade here in the park you can see we are underneath a uh, number of pine trees lots of shade surrounded by mountains and Mac lake mcdonald is right across the street which is a beautiful place to watch and photograph the sunrise and the sunset. Picnic table, fire ring, great place to put your tent should you have a tent. Maybe you have kids that you want to have. But you see the boundary for our site here. It's over here. Right there. It is a, a gigantic, well-manicured site. All of the sites here are exactly the same. They're exactly like that. I recommend this campground. Um, it is the west side of Glacier. The uh, Logan Pass is about 30 miles up the mountain range. That takes uh, a good 45, 50 minutes to get to. It's a slow drive. Um, there's a lot to do as far as hiking goes on this west side. Um, the east side where Two Medicine is at, and Many Glacier, um, is about an hour and 20 minute drive from here if you go outside the park. It's a very windy, windy side of the park. Lots to do over there. Plenty of trails up at Logan Pass, which is the high highlight of the area uh, on going to the Sun Road. But the entrance to going to the Sun Road is right outside this campground. Apgar Village, Apgar Village, which is where we are staying in the Apgar area, has a grocery store. It has uh, boat rentals um, that you can rent and launch. You can bring your own boat, but you got to get it inspected, and it's a nightmare to try to resolve. I wouldn't recommend doing that at this point. Um, but a couple of cute gift shops uh, right around the corner from the campground here, what you would expect in a busy, busy campground area. So again, their season here for the full service is limited to a couple of months. Ranger told me sometimes they don't even open this uh, full service one with the running water until July. So, you know, July, August, September, closed October. Um, but again, Abgar is, I believe, the only campground here in Glacier that is open 365 days a year. I'm here in the fall and it's gorgeous. I bet your winter would be outstanding. 
All right, so I hope you found this review of Apgar Campground helpful uh, in Glacier National Park, and uh, I hope that maybe you'll come here and visit and support the park service and really just enjoy yourself. This is really a quiet park. It's just serene. It's really nice. I think that you would enjoy yourself. I've always wanted to come to Glacier, and uh, I've not been disappointed, not in the slightest. All right, hope you found this video helpful. If you could, you know, hit the like button down there, the one that looks like this or this or whatever way it's facing, um, and subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification when that subscribe button comes up so you know when I'm releasing my next video. And I hope you'll enjoy some of my other videos. Leave your comments if you have questions in the comment section below. Um, if you want to know anything about Apgar Campground or Glacier National Park, I'll do the best that I can to answer those for you um, as, I, as I get your comments and questions. Hey, thanks a lot for seeing this video. I'm kind of running off the cuff here. Thanks for watching, I guess is what I'm saying. And uh, I hope you enjoy all of the Glacier videos that are soon to come. Got a lot coming down the pike. All right, I'll see you. Rob out.